the name West Smithfield? Well West is because basically this is the most westerly part of the city and it's also in the ward Farringdon Without which is one of the 25 wards of the city. The other thing is uh, this area so many things happened here there were executions there was a fair there were so many different things that happened here. it was a real bloody area there was jousting that actually took place just over there While we're walking along, these marks you can see on the wall here, these are actually from bombs, shrapnel from the Second World War. This is for any of my Scottish friends that are listening. This is my favourite one. This is obviously Sir William Wallace Braveheart. Now every year people come here to lay flowers to the memorial of Braveheart. That they may take our lives, but they'll never take I'll just give you a little bit of information on Braveheart. When he was caught, he was actually tried at Westminster Hall. He was tried there, then he was pulled up with a rope attached to him behind a cart to somewhere around this area we're looking at here. Then he was hanged. He was revived with vinegar, so he was still alive. They then slit him down the middle, took his insides out, and they also cut off his private parts to make sure that he couldn't breed. And that was really the end of William Wallace, but the head was taken to Old London Bridge and it was the first head to go on Old London Bridge on a spike under the rule of King Edward I. The other thing was the four limbs were sent up north to four different parts and it, William Wallace, as we say, was hung, drawn and quartered. So that's why Scotland wants independence. <laughs> Don't blame them. Yeah. <laughs> the next memorial is to the three Johns who were the Protestants who were burnt by Bloody Mary, Queen Mary the First, round about this spot. And they were tied to wooden stakes and burnt alive. And when I was talking before about the smell of burning flesh, this is the ghost of the effect that people say sometimes they can smell around the meat market. Along with the three Johns, there were around 300 other people burnt by Bloody Mary. Nice lady. We're now at the front of St Bartholomew's Hospital, which is the oldest hospital in the UK. If you'd like to look up there, just above Henry VIII is watching. Now Henry VIII, actually one of the main renovations of this hospital was done by King Henry VIII in 1546. Um, he actually died a year later. But unfortunately we can't get in because of these gates, but on the left there is St Bartholomew the Less which is another church, which is the church of the hospital and is a chapel of ease. And my cameraman Frank That's me. Is, is about to give you a little bit of information on Cockneys. Oh, thanks, Brian. Uh, many London people call themselves Cockneys, but you only get the real stamp of approval if you were born within the sound of Bow Bells. So if you was born in St Bart's Hospital, you was 100% bona fide Cockney. But sadly, in 1993, the maternity ward of this hospital closed down. So, alas, there is no more Cockneys being born in London. True Cockneys.